The Pilot Explorer is a great entry-level fountain pen and one you may not have on your radar. Greetings, my name is Drew, you're you, and today we're here at the Goulet Pen Company to explore the Explorer. We're going to look at the outside, take a peek at the inside, do a little bit of a writing sample, and take a look at its popular cool cousin, the Pilot Metropolitan. So let's choose a pen to look at. Let's go with this beautiful turquoise one here. So one of the first things you'll notice is the defining pilot logo there. It's not a different color, so it doesn't punch out too much. It's not super obvious. It is just a uh, debossed uh, impression in the plastic itself. And then we've got this circle here, which is a cutout of the cap. And then you can see, I believe this is probably the same piece. The cap finial here uh, is visible through it, which is a neat characteristic that you can see on all of these pens. And it is complemented by one there on the back end as well. This pen is super light. One might call it plasticky. That's a, you know, kind of a negative connotation, but I mean, it's, it's reality. The, the pen does have a very light plasticky feel to it. If that's a detractor, you know, it is what it is, but uh, that's the truth. In the hand, it's very, very lightweight, and you can definitely feel that it's plastic. Most all of the Pilot Explorers have this, uh, it's not quite matte, but it's also not glossy either look to it, except for the clear one here, very glossy, very shiny, and the white one. You can tell that these two pens have a shine that the others don't. Another pen that sets itself apart from the rest is the black matte version. As you can see, this one is very matte, much more so compared to one of the others. So you've got high gloss in the white, very matte with the black, and then kind of a nice in-between with the rest of the colors. Let's talk about the clip for a moment. At first glance, it might look like the clip is plastic made out of the same material that you'll see here and here. It does look pretty similar, but it is actually metal. It's a pretty stiff clip. You can pull it up with some effort, but um, it does leave a little bit of an indentation in your uh, thumb and forefinger if you do it that way. So it's functional, a little sharp, but it works. This pen posts and caps very nicely, very trademark to pilot. The actual feel of the actual feel of the capping very satisfying. It is a pretty lightweight pen, so posting it does give you a little bit more of a weight in the back, which I think feels more comfortable. All right, let's take a look at the inside of the pen. On capping it, you'll first see that it has a familiar nib. If you've ever used a Metro, a Kakuno, a Plumix, or a Prera, this is the same nib. It's also the same feed. This feed can actually be switched and interchanged with any of those pens. Each pen comes equipped with a Con B squeeze converter. Now this converter can be changed out with a few other pilot converters. Obviously, in the demonstrator version of the Explorer, the converter is going to be visible, and if you don't like the way it looks, you can swap it out for the Con 70, which is Pilot's largest converter, holds a ton of ink, and I think looks nicer. You could also go with the Con 40, which pops right on in, and there you have that. Also, not, not too bad looking, but I think one of the big selling points of this is that it can fit the large converter. That's pretty cool. As far as the writing experience goes, if you've ever written with a Pilot Metropolitan, Plumix, Prera, or Kakuno, then you've written with one of these, essentially. It's the same nib, same feed, it's going to give you the same writing experience. And that writing experience is very reliable. These nibs are really stiff, so there is that, but they're extraordinarily consistent in their performance. I'm writing with a fine nib here with Pilot Roshizuku Kanpeki and it's a delight. Smooth, but not too smooth. A little bit of grab just to know the ink is getting where it needs to go, but not scratchy at all. So let's discuss the Explorer compared to the Metropolitan. Presentation-wise, you're looking at basically the exact same setup. You've got a cartridge and the pen itself in the same container. Now, the writing experience, like we mentioned, is going to be identical. They've got the same nibs, and the same feeds. So the actual performance ink to paper wise is gonna be identical. Talking durability is interesting because 
inherently, brass is going to be a more durable material than plastic. However, the coating on the Metropolitan could get gouged, and you could see brassing on spots that get worn away, whereas the plastic, I think, is going to hide damage and serious wear and tear a little bit better, but both are extraordinarily well made. The build quality is exceptional on both of these. The Metropolitan has a more solid feel due to the fact that it is brass and it has that heft to it. Still, nothing on either of these pens feels poorly made. Nothing is ill-fitted or loose. They're both really well made. And color variety. Both pens have a wide range of colors, but again, I'm going to give the Explorer a little bit of an edge here because they've got a white pen, they've got a black matte pen, they've got a clear pen, and... They've got just a straight up blue, which the Metropolitan at this point in time does not have. And then as far as value is concerned, the Explorer sells for $23.60 at the time of this recording and the Metropolitan for $18.99. So that's a difference of $3.61. So just a couple bucks, but the Metro does have a slight edge there. As far as filling goes, the Explorer does have a slight edge because it can fit the Con 70 much larger converter, whereas the Metropolitan cannot. And there you have it, the Pilot Explorer. Solid pen, solid price, great option for gift giving. And if you would like to learn more, check us out on our website, goulaypens.com. We have additional tech specs for this pen and many others, weights, measurements, ink capacities, all that good stuff. And of course, if you would like the video, that's super fun. Comment on the video, that's even more fun. Most importantly, have fun right on.